Question number six says that the following table gives the distribution of students of two sections according to the marks obtained by them. So we have section A and section B. Marks have been divided into class intervals like 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. With each of these class intervals, they have given us the frequency that is how many students do fall into that class interval. We have to represent the marks of the students of both the sections on the same graph by two frequency polygons. From the two polygons that we get, we have to compare the performance of the two sections. So frequency polygons can also be drawn independently without drawing histograms. But for that, we require the midpoints of the class intervals used in the given data. So the midpoints are also called as the class mark for a particular class interval, which can be found by adding up the upper limit and the lower limit of a particular class and dividing it by so let's take the first class into consideration, which is from 0 to 10. For this particular class, the upper limit is 10. So let's add 10 with the lower limit of the class itself, which is 0, and divide it by 2. So we get 5 as the class mark for the first class interval. Similarly, if we take the second class interval into consideration, we will have to add 20 and 10 and divide it by 2. So we get 30 divided by 2, which gives us 15. So 15 is the class mark for the second class interval. Now the table with inclusion of the class marks for all the class intervals is like this. Now we will have to make the frequency polygon. For that we take the class marks on the x-axis and the frequency on the y-axis. So let's draw the two frequency polygons for the section A and section B. So we can see that we have drawn two frequency polygons for section A and section B. The frequency polygon for section A is drawn by blue dotted lines and for section B it is drawn by orange dotted lines. So we have drawn the frequency polygon by taking the class marks on the x-axis and taking frequency on the y-axis. The scale that we have chosen for y-axis is 1 unit to be equal to 2 students. And that is because the value of the least frequency was observed as 1 while the highest was 19. So it can be observed that the performance of students of section A is better than the students of section B. As section A shows more students securing marks between 40 to 50 class and 30 to 40 class. So this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.